I'm Gail McLemore, proprietor of Cache G International Boutique and Gallery. I've had this business for 26 years, and as the name states, it is a boutique with clothing, jewelry, accessories, and art. I think I was going through a, what I call my French period at the time. In cachet, I loosely translate as collection. Well, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, I had not had retail experience and a boutique because I knew I wanted to open a small business that offered unique items. So a boutique was just the type of business that I thought suit, suited what I wanted to do. My experience had been in um, social work and business prior to opening this boutique, but from the uh, human relations standpoint and uh, marketing associate. When I first got started, it was actually very simple. And I do tell people if I had known what was required, I would have said, oh, I can't possibly do that. But not knowing, I just went ahead and did it. And it was fairly simple in the beginning. And as obstacles occurred as they will, they were just uh, overcome one by one. My vision was actually to provide a space for um, designers and artisans to showcase their work. That was my original vision, that it would be um, a spot that did have unique items, many of them were handcrafted or that were designed by uh, African American designers primarily. I did have to expand on that, but that was my original vision. The boutique evolved as my interest evolved because actually when I first started, I was selling um, both uh, new and vintage items. And I did not focus as much on African art and artifacts in the beginning. So as my uh, interest changed, the store changed as well. I used my own money. I had been employed for over 20 years and was a pretty good saver, so I used my own money as a startup. I would advise a combination of your own money, but I would think it would be well to use outside sources for capital. Actually, I started without a business plan. It was only later when I realized the value of a business plan that I had one and I did use some help from SBA. Unfortunately, because I am the only one involved in this business, I think that it will probably close when I decide to retire. Uh, it would be nice if there were a, a broader future, but at this moment I don't really see that. And I think that I fall into that broader category of owners who work in their business. One of the challenges of being an owner of a small business is that you um, wear many hats, you have many titles. So I always say I'm the chief executive and I'm also the head janitor. So trying to balance all the roles that you as an individual play in a small business uh, unfortunately requires you to work a lot in the business and maybe uh, not put so much time working on it. So I would say my split is probably 80-20, which probably is not optimal. Yes, I think you have to have the passion for what you do, and there's nothing better than being able to make money doing something you actually enjoy. I do think um, if you really enjoy the work, it's not so much work as it is if you are just working for the money. Uh, it's much easier to work for someone else uh, because you do your job, you go home. When you're working for yourself, um, there are never enough hours in the day. There's never enough hours in the week. You never have everything. There's always something else that needs to be done. And you really have to um, not allow yourself to be consumed by the job or your business and have a life. The challenge is too to have a life outside of the business. The obstacles actually were in maintaining it rather than realizing it. And I have never yet in 26 years achieved my sales goal. I had a number in mind and I have, I'm still chasing that number. But actually to open the doors to have the type of business I envisioned, that was 
easily achieve, but maintaining it has been a difficulty. I would tell them, I always tell them, don't go into business like I did. Although I do say, just do it. In fact, I said I said that before Nike said it. Because you really do have to just start and do. But I always advise people to do your business plan, do your homework, um, make sure you have your funding sources, and just take a very measured look at what you're about to do rather than just jump into it like I did. I would like to tell the community to support your local and your small businesses because we really depend on you. We do it for you and we really depend on you.